So here's everything that you need in order to proceed and you'll want to get all this stuff together before you start. The first step is to ask the woman to undress her lower half and position her on the bed uh, as you would normally for a speculum examination. Next, open your uh, catheter pack or VE pack and lay out the sterile sheet uh, between the woman's legs. Open all of your equipment uh, and lay it onto the sheet. Wash your hands and put on sterile gloves. Draw up 30 ml of sterile water across two syringes. Now we're going to go through the actual procedure of placing the catheter. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is cleanse the vulva with some regular water and some cotton balls. Once you're finished cleansing the vulva, you're going to want to insert the um, cusco speculum. You can lubricate it with some gel and insert it into the vagina and open to identify the cervix and the cervical os. We're going to be using this model as um, our cervical os. Once you can see the cervical os, you're going to take the sponge holder and hold the catheter and you want to make sure that you're holding the catheter beyond the balloon tip. After that, you're going to insert the catheter in through the cervical os and you're going to want to pop it as far as it can go. Eventually, you'll feel some resistance. Once you feel that resistance, you're going to want to inflate the balloon with the sterile water that we've pulled up previously. At this point, the patient might experience some discomfort due to the stretching while the bulb inflates, and you can go ahead and reassure the patient that this is completely normal and will stop shortly. Okay, it's just going to insert 30 ml of sterile water here. Once your sterile water is in, you're going to want to give a firm but gentle tug to make sure that the catheter is indeed fixed inside the cervix, and then you're going to want to attach the rest of the catheter to the patient's inner thigh with some tape. All right. Another thing that we're going to do is we'll have um, spigots available so that you can put a stopper in this end of the catheter so none of the secretions from the cervix come out of the catheter. All right.